so torah has to now give us more information about god right because what is this image that i am created is this my speech because compared to animals this is something different that i have but speech is the product of my thought okay god used speech to create the world the world created out of his speech that is created something that is outside of him but i am supposed to be like him so it's not about speech then what is it about god that i am supposed to be like him so after a lot of thinking and this thinking is a problem because as soon as i start thinking i am going away from torah so let's see in the torah what torah wants to point out so when moshe was uh, told by god to go into egypt and uh, tell the people that uh, god has sent him moshe asked one question what should i tell the people who sent me and god answered to him ehiye asher ehiye generally it is translated as i am what am what i am not a good translation the translation better translation is i will be what i will be so god is saying i will be what i will be that's also not helpful enough so god is saying i can be whatever i want to be i am free choice and now you see that in human beings we have the aspect of choosing intellectually we have the capacity of choosing things so my choosing has something different than anything else in the world angels are not given choice they do the work they have been supposed to do the sun comes out on a particular time and sets at a particular time he has been commanded to do so the moon the same the stars the same the earth is rotating at a fixed system everything is systematic even if i look deeper into me my cells and everything they are working whatever was told to them they are doing the same thing only here in my mind i am able to choose so that choice is effectively the image of god <laughs> my choice let's keep hold to the choice and then go to the next story <laughs>